Allimi Haminkachi Waikikuna Panaikuna. Welcome, brother and sister from all over the world. My name is Edith Flores. I am a CEO from Peru. CEO, the Chief Experience Officer. I have been working since 2006 as a CEO over six years. Before I could start as a tour guide on the Inca Trail and Machu Picchu. In this opportunity, my dear friends, I would like to introduce the wellness tours. This would be a small journey of Peru. How is the wellness tour? Yet, when you have 10 wellness tours all over the world in different continents. Why Peru? Because Peru is the sacred land of the Incas. Did you hear about that one? What I have here, I will introduce the three important elements of wellness tools. Number one, mindfulness. Number two, movement. Number three, nourishment. I would like to start with a local ritual of Pachamama. Did you hear about Pachamama? Pachamama means Mother Earth. Represent the fertility, the Mother Nature. When we have our festivities and ceremonies, our Andean priests, we call Pacos and Tomisai or shamans, they are in charge to do this ceremony. What I am doing now, I am doing in a very symbolic way with a lot of love and I really respect for sure. But in the daily life, when you go to the highland, you will see the local people from the countryside, they really love to chew the coca leaf. This is the coca leaf. Coca leaf combat the thing that are hungry. You can find in the Amazon. Okay? At the same time, it's good for the anti disease. And of course, we use for doing the ceremony. I have the tree coca leaf represent the shape of the mountain we call Kintu. And I have rose water. You, if you want to join me, wonderful. You are super welcome. Rose water. I have the candle you can do in your house where it's a very uh, sacred place where I am now this is my little home okay uh, I live in Cusco by the way I have here too some flower from my garden I have a little garden I have some seeds and some crops I took from my kitchen the best one for sure right would you like to start this little ceremony? This will be your wellness moment or your mindfulness. For some people, they say, uh, sounds like a meditation or you are praying. That, yes, depending on you. Feel free if yes, you want to watch and listen. Okay, our mindfulness moment. I will invite you everybody, close your eyes, please. And listen me, I listen the beautiful music with the local instrument. Right? You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Put your hands together on your head or on your chest like a namaste. You can pray or you can meditate. Breathe deeply in and out. This is your wellness moment. This is a beautiful present. You'll give a beautiful present to the Mother Earth. Thanks for giving us everything. This is the best way to give back to you. We are totally, totally grateful for everything for giving us. The mother air will blessing us. I will ask for for you, for our air. Humble, 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 Bitcoin, humble, much picture, humble, Mosanato, humble, Santa.
this, you can open your eyes now. Did you enjoy? I hope you can enjoy this short ceremony. I put my coca leaf on the top, okay? And after what you need to do, you can wrap it up or put in a sacred place, give as an offering or as a gift to the Mother Earth. Okay, what is the next of wellness do? The next step, what we focus, of course, is movement. Are you ready to work out? We're up, you ready? Okay. All right, we move this pillow here. We do hear the music too. Yes. And we can stretch our back, our body. Here in Peru, what we love to do, we have hiking. We have stand up paddle boarding. And depending on the country too, you can do different activities. The idea is to be very active, okay? It's very important to move our body, stretch out. In the Inca spirits, they could do too. Okay, there were some rituals, some ceremony we call Huarachiku. And of course, we in the Inca spirit, they were very professional runner. They call chasquis. But yoga, Nowadays, it's very popular. What I really love to do in my daily life, first, when I wake up, I love to stretch my arm, my legs. The idea of yoga is enjoy your body, embrace the bizarre, okay? And you need to be very friendly with your body. It's the intention, it's not competition. I love the sun salutation, but it's very important for me too to do some asanas and yoga pose. Tell me please, what's your favorite asana or what's your favorite yoga pose? I will show you one of my favorite one. I call the Inca water. Because you stretch your legs, your back, your chest, and your arms. I call to Inca warrior one, two, or three. But remember, we are in Peru, and I have my own style, and my tribe, they really love it. The other asana that I really love is the half moon. You can breathe deeply, and you can listen to music too. Both are on your hand. You can do the mudra, power mudra. You can go get on your back and your head back. This is good. Don't forget to breathe, guys. And I love the tree pose or the tree asana. This is good for keep the balance. This is the tree. Did you hear the music? Would you like to hear the music a little bit? I love this music. I love to do yoga with this local instrument of the Incas. And the last one, I love the humble warrior. Nourishment is healthy food, high nutrition. Uh, we take care and we focus in our groups all the time, mainly with the vegan and vegetarians. The Peruvian food or Peruvian cuisine is 
amazing. Everybody loved the Peruvian food. In every, in every single city or in every single region, we have different variety of food. Okay, even the fruits. Everybody who knows could be could give on the lemon and alpaca. Besides of that, we have some uh, some cereals, some local food, very exotic, which is not very popular all over the world. But if you will be in Peru, you will learn many things because you will have such amazing thing of wellness. I have here, I prepared quinoa kiwicha, Andean cereal, high protein. Healthy food. You can prepare different dish like uh, risotto in a stick of rice, quinoa, or quinoa salads, which is really good with many vegetables. Oh, it's amazing and tasty. Okay, and dessert. Yeah, I love the um, breakfast. <laughs> this is kind of like kind of like a juice. We chop it up the uh, apple and we mix it with milk. Ah, that's amazing. This drink, I love it. Okay, quinoa for sure you have in the in your house or in the supermarket of your country. Quinoa nowadays is very popular all over the world. But if you have the quinoa, take a look if it's from Peru. And we have two here, some fruit. This is from my garden, guys. If you can see, this is my little house. This is my home. I live in now with my family. I'm totally grateful to be with them. I have some strawberries and the wild tomato the strawberries and the wild tomatoes as you can see this wild tomato somebody called a uh, tomato tree okay this is a very native fruit from the incas and the strawberries the strawberries now is getting popular in peru mainly in the sacred valley of the incas if you have the opportunity, you will see many greenhouses and in there you can find just not vegetables, you can find flowers and strawberries, okay? And you can find too the wild tomatoes. Both are good one. Good fruit, tasty, I love both, okay? Antioxidant, okay? It's good for the, your immune system. We need it nowadays, okay? Um, this have the vitamin, okay? This can help if you have any allergies, kind of like a rhinitis, okay? Um, of course, this can help you to rehydrate your body and you can lose the weight in the morning. Uh, you can hear the doctor tell you it's good for, for you to take a glass of water with the key lime juice, okay? But if, it's better if you take this wild tomato in the morning before the breakfast this can help to have a good digestion you can lose the weight this can this can avoid and prevent the high pressure too the same the strawberries have the vitamin a b and c i have a lot of water can keep rehydrate our body okay my friend this is something tiny tiny information about my lovely country my hometown Peru. I hope you could enjoy. This is a little introduction of wellness tour how running in Peru. I hope all of you could enjoy with this little demonstration of everything. I hope we'll see you soon guys some days and we'll back to the road. I am so excited for that day we'll back to see our faces. I'm grateful to see all of you. Thanks for joining me. Um, we'll see you soon. And the most important guys, don't stop, please, never, never, never stop to drink. Then travel, guys, okay? Then travel. Keep the positive attitude all the time. We needed the good energy, guys. We needed good energy. And of course, the adventure will send this messenger. Our world deserves more of you. We need it, guys. Thank you very much and big hug to everybody.